What's going on everybody? Tony here from Big Ugly's Garage and we are starting to do the rebuild. So it is Monday, the day after the track event. I'm going to start getting this car fixed. You can see the front's pretty messed up. I'll show you what I got. I got a bunch of parts from uh, my buddy Durham and uh, we're going to get this car fixed. I just got this hood. I got um, the trunk over there, and I got that front bumper. I got some brand new headlights, and I got two fenders. So I think the plan of attack here is I'm gonna cut this vinyl right here where it's messed up, and basically wrap that forward. Then I'm gonna cut the vinyl probably here on this front bumper and then unwrap this so he can rewrap that. And then I gotta get a whole new hood wrapped. So that will have to be all redone, just the hood though. But these two can be sectioned in to get rid of all the scrapes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this hood off and see what we got going on. I'm gonna start by cutting this vinyl, unfortunately. Probably gonna go about right here. So like, my mind right now is blown. So I thought this was all like scratched and gouged up. Look at that, spotless. So this is all scratches right here. It's actually all on top of the vinyl. So I don't know if you can see that. Look at that, it's all scratches from the wall on top of the vinyl. So this car did get scratched obviously in a couple spots, but not really though, I mean overall, it really didn't get that badly scratched. So I did cut it right here. Nice clean line down. And I got this unwrapped. And I got all this. There's a small hole right here in the bumper. So I will go ahead and cut that off and uh, sand it smooth in that little section. But other than that, it really didn't get as messed up as I thought. So that doesn't make me way happier. I think the next thing I'm gonna do here is go ahead and remove this front bumper. I gotta get to the headlight. So I gotta jump off this bumper, fender, and the hood over to the wrap shop to get it all done. Pop off this bumper, uh, put the new headlight in there, and then test put the hood and the bumper back on to make sure everything's gonna line up right before I go and get them wrapped. So I got this uh, headlight off. It might be a junk hair one. There is writing on it, but I gotta steal this ballast and the bulb out of it so I can put it on my new one. So I got the new hood on there. I know it's kind of ugly, it's silver right now, but so this uh, bumper fits really nice now. Everything fits really nice. Everything seems, seems to work. Um, pretty normal. There's a big gouge here. I gotta just knock that off before it gets wrapped. This fender is, you can see the that line is terrible, but I'm not even gonna fix it though because it's wrapped, it looks good still. It looks good from far away anyways. I'm not gonna worry about it. Got my new headlights on. I'll peel that plastic off once the bumpers get wrapped and everything. But uh, yeah, the hood looks good. This side's a little tight, but I think I'm gonna leave it. Might adjust it a little bit more. It is a nice, fresh new day here at Osmond Auto Parts. Starting to work on the Mustang again. I'll show you guys. I ended up buying a whole new quarter for this car. I know I said I wasn't going to or I was, but the more I looked at the car, the more it just kind of bothered me. So I did buy a whole new quarter. I'm showing you guys what I just did to it. So here's the quarter. So I told them I just needed just the skin part, but uh, the junkyard said they'll just cut the whole literal quarter off the car and give it to me. So this is what I got. So you can see they Basically cut right through the trunk, cut right through the roof and the floor and uh, the door here and gave me this literal whole section of this car. So what I did today was there's a bunch of spot welds down here. See all the holes? I had to drill all these holes out, 
They go all along here, all along down here. So I drilled all those out. I cut up here into the quarter, down, down to the floor there. And then I end up is with this nice skin. And uh, so the goal is to take my car, cut my skin off, and then basically just put this right over the back of my car so that it looks nice and pretty again. Of course, on paper, it sounds super simple and easy. Will it be? I don't know. I'm going to pull the car outside right now and start marking off where I want to cut. Sorry, the camera's kind of dark. There we go. Kind of want to uh, show what I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to start cutting uh, the quarter off. And we're going to figure out how we're going to mold this thing on there. Starting to look at this, I think my plan, what I'm going to do is, you can see it's creased up into here. And it comes down. I got to get this bumper off. That tab's already off. Or at least this tab. This tab. All right. Got to get this little piece off here. And uh, I'm going to reuse this bumper for now temporarily. What I can of it anyways. And we're going to have to cut down into here. And basically just pull this quarter back to where it needs to go. And then you can see it dented all the way into here, into the quarter. So I might try to section it like here up and then like back. I'm not sure yet. Just trying to figure out what's going to look the nicest, basically. I got the bumper out and the tail light. That tail light was a pain in the butt to get out because it was smashed. So I'm going to try to get as much of this pulled before I go ahead and pull this quarter off. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna need a new one of these for sure. These little brackets, definitely. I got this quarter pulled out a hell of a lot. It's actually pretty square now. So I'm trying to pull as much as I can before I start cutting. But I think uh, I think I'm pretty happy. I can't really fit the tail light yet because uh, this quarter is so crunched in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling out these uh, spot welds to remove this old quarter so we can go ahead and start to get the new one on. I think once I get this old quarter off, I'll be able to mend some of this metal and uh, try to match up to the other one. It's kind of hard to see because behind this skin. So let's go ahead and uh, start getting this skin off. quarters off this garage uh this garage worthy to hang up or no i don't know this garage great job Chris. so it is a new day we are working on the it? car right now it's heavy i know why got so this heavy. quarter all cut off oh my gosh dude wow. oh wow safety first i'm scared yeah don't bring that seven hard dollar talent ow Fuck, I'm not doing that. I asked you if you had it. Dude, you got the, you got the crease out. I feel like those little Asian guys who I see on fucking Facebook who get in the trunk and like hit the car straight and do all that stuff. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I want to clamp right here. Tell me this is not gangster. <laughs> it's not gangster. It's, you liar! <laughs> Same thing to the other side. 
Actually, no, I should have did this to the other side. Yeah, we did the only thing that makes full time quarters. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Jordan's like, yeah, they're called over, you dumbass. Hey, you fucking idiots. Make sure you're happy with that fitment. Dude, that fits really fucking good, Jordan. Yeah, so Jordan had a good idea. Um, this was pretty buckled, this taillight pocket. And there's really no good way to remake this pocket to look factory. So uh, he went ahead and he cut this pocket out from the corner that I stole the skin from. And then he cut out the bad section. And then we're gonna just rivet it right over. So yeah, this is the old one that went like this. You can just see it's so mangled that, yeah, we probably could have made it work, but then it's not gonna fit up to the quarter very nicely. So now this is all the factory lines, and this is so mangled, and we don't really have like proper hammering and dollies and stuff. So this is gonna be way better this way, and I have all these factory clips now, because I am gonna have to buy a new plastic bumper sport for this side, so now this will fit right in the factory spots. Dude, you're going to hold in my car. I'm sorry. Buddy, I fixed this. $79.99. Take all day long. Do they have a clean title at least? Carfax is clean. Oh, uh, it's all I care about. Is it done? Yeah. So now we gotta fuck with the trunk lid. So Jordan did a really, really hell of a job with this tally pocket. He did a really good job. He, uh, oh, that's the first nice thing you've ever said about me on a video. Oh, you're probably right. <laughs> no, but uh, he cut it out. He made it right. So, I mean, look at this line, though. Everything looks so nice. Even, like, around the taillight. It actually fits in there like factory. I was really worried about things not fitting. Got these really cool Clico pins. Temporary rivets. I always see those guys, uh, those Chinese guys, or whatever the hell they are. They freaking fill with ramen noodles. Put some freaking putty over there, epoxy, and they smooth the shot like it never happened. You know, ramen noodles are cheaper than spray foam. Yeah, well, no. How much are they now? I don't know. I've never ate them. Yeah, I but I heard they're like almost like two dollars a pack or something. Less than three dollars. Less than three dollars? Yeah. That's still kind of expensive though. Can't Jordan and I are like, man, we love to finish this quarter panel up, and I started calling my buddies, you know, see if they could find like some wrap real quick. Of course, nobody had any. So I, uh, he's like, why don't you just ask the guy who, you know, wrapped the car, Mike, and I'm like, man, I'm like, I messaged him, you know, he's busy. Then I went to his Facebook, and he just posted a video, and he's still at the wrap shop, I'm like, let's go real quick. So we go up there, he got a nice sheet of black, it's actually probably enough to do, uh, to do two. So we have some extra. So we're going to wrap this quarter, and then wrap the front of the fender, this car will be done. I think we can start with the fender, small little piece. I can kind of feel how the, how, the, how the ramp works too. What if we... So we've been busting our butts all day long. It is raining outside. Um, I'm very sweaty. It's not rain, unfortunately. I wish it was. <laughs> but yeah, we've been busting our butts. Jordan and I, and Maddie, she's been helping us too. So we got the quarter on now for good. I went ahead and I wrapped it black. I got the front fender wrapped black. You guys see me unwrap it earlier in this video. We got all the rivets done. And we even got the back bumper on. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where we're at. And we have the uh, 18 plus taillights in it now. So it looks pretty good. Oh, you guys can see on camera, this thing looks sweet. So this is all wrapped. This stuff's so shiny. So you can see right here where it ends. So I gotta remake the Osmond auto parts. So Osmond will go right across here. Auto will go here. And then it'll really blend in. The bumper just lines up so nicely. Yeah, the bumper's kind of banged up and smashed, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now because it is the beginning of the season. Um, Jordan's got another bumper for me, so I'll probably I'll have it wrapped and just put on the back burner. We went ahead and we fixed the uh, spoiler too. That was Jordan's idea. From right here though, it actually looks pretty good though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And the car is super dirty anyways. But yeah, so those taillights look super aggressive too. It looks, it looks really good. I'm really happy. I'm just happy with how everything lined up in the taillight bucket area. I know. I just it, like we never get this lucky ever when we do this. No, kind of stuff. it actually it, it looks factory. Yeah, we never ever ever get this lucky. This car is looking super good. I'll show you guys the front fender. So oh, you can barely see the seam, but yeah, there's a seam right here. So that's all wrapped now, all the way down. 
I am still waiting on the hood and the bumper to come back. I just stopped over there and he was gonna do them today. So I could get a call soon or could be next week, but uh, I'll definitely have him back though before the next event. Damn, man, that thing's fucked. I know what the problem is. No, Ain't got no gas. gas. Dude, so we're just like looking at this car. Look at the forest. Yeah. So we're just seeing like how this guy cut this whole quarter out of this car. He literally cut through the freaking speaker. <laughs> I mean, like, this guy didn't give a fuck. See how the airbag went out? Yeah. It was hitting that pass yeah, inside. He, he just cut through the harnesses. Man, that thing, that thing lights up too. Ain't that some shit. It is Thursday, two days before the event now. Been working on my car all week. I gotta put on my last decal real quick on this quarter panel and then uh, the car will be done. Body work wise, Chris and I gotta fix this O2 wire real quick. He's coming in and uh, the car will be set. My AC still works. Why was it draining? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I haven't shown the lights yet. I got these sweet top lights. So they're kind of like the uh, Chelsea DeNova RTR lights, how they have them on top. Just tell Up them guys, it's too much spare time. Well, hang on, hang on. Oh, God, it gets worse. Oh, no. Oh. oh, I can't really see that. So I got my yellow at the bottom, my underglow. I can really see oh, it. I can see them. Okay. And then the top ones. So now I'll be all a whole like, yellow thing on the car. So let's load that quarter panel. Do you like my, uh, how I patch my wing with some black vinyl? Hey. Until I buy a new one. It works. Two hundred dollar fucking wing. But um, yeah, we got the core panel on. You hear that? He's hurting, guys. He needs sponsors. Yeah, two hundred dollar wings. Well, honestly, man, I'm pretty happy with this core panel. So you guys see, we overlaid it. Can't even see the seam. You got it all riveted it on. Got our album sticker back on there. You can only tell the color difference when yeah. you get close. Yeah, because this is, this is actual like a true black vinyl. This is a printed black. So unfortunately, I couldn't get any of the print black at the time. So maybe in the future I'll take it off, but I'm not really that worried about it, honestly. Um, I did all this myself though. This is uh, the Cheetah vinyl. It's terrible. I would never use it again. I got the gold on there now. So with the white stripe, and I actually took uh, some spray paint and I painted this uh, back switch in black to try to blend it in. So it needs a bumper, but I'm really not gonna worry about it right now, I don't think. Maybe in the future. But uh, yeah, so Saturday, Corgan Oil Speedway. Anybody who's local, come out for ride-alongs. It was saying it was gonna rain, but now it's showing uh, clear skies, the high of like 60, 50, so it's be a little bit chilly, but it'll be fun. Chris is coming out. Uh, Jordan will be there with his Mustang. I don't know, I've been there one time, so I don't know anybody else. Oh, Scherzer, Steve will be there. Ricky might be there, right? Yeah, yep. He'll be there with his car, but he'll be there in spirit at least to come hang out, but he won't do ride-alongs. He said he doesn't do ride-alongs for some reason. Whatever, he, 